Scenes from Murphy Fieldhouse Saturday and the Raw Monster Deadlift and Bench Press Competition. We'll have all the results in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also on this edition, March is Women's History Month. We'll have a preview of this year's observance. Some news from the Transition Assistance Office. And a blood drive is coming up. These stories and more, but first a note from us right here at Garrison Public Affairs. The 2018 installation guide has been published and is available at facilities all over the post. Residents of Post Housing can pick up a copy at their neighborhood center. Army Community Services and other MWR facilities should have copies available very soon. If you're having trouble finding a guide or if your organization would like a large number of guides, just contact us right here at the Garrison Public Affairs Office. In other news, March is National Women's History Month. The 704th Military Intelligence Brigade and the Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office are hosting this year's observance. It's coming up Thursday, March 22nd from 1130 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is Army Colonel Mary Martin, the Commandant of the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute. The Institute is a joint service school located at Patrick Air Force Base, Florida. Martin assumed command of the school in June of 2016. Once again, Fort Meade's National Women's History Month observance is March 22nd at 1130 at McGill Training Center. Meanwhile, it hasn't seemed very spring-like outdoors this March, but that's not going to stop the Installation Safety Office's Motorcycle Safety Training Program. The first classes of the year got underway this week. A reminder, you must complete one of these courses to operate a motorcycle on a military installation. If you missed this week's basic course, the next one is March 20th and 21st. There are two basic courses in every month through October and a final one in November. The experienced writer's course is required within one year of completing the basic course. There are two experienced courses every month through October with one in November. The military sport bike riders course is for those that have completed either the basic or experienced course. It's mandatory for licensed military sport bike riders. There's one sport bike class each month through September. For more information call the Installation Safety Office at 301-677-2396. In sports news, Murphy Fieldhouse recently hosted the Raw Monster Bench Press and Deadlift Tournament. It was the second year in a row for the Raw Monster event, but according to MWR Fitness Coordinator and Tournament Judge Sylvia Garcia, this year's was much different. What made this a little bit different was the participation and the excitement leading up to the event. I capped the event uh, at, 30, at 30 participants, and that's because normally each group can only be up to 15 participants. We almost met that. We had 25 competitors. Lifters, bench press, and deadlift totals were added together. After the number crunching, Antonio Slaughter and Haley Eckelmeyer proved to be the overall men's and women's champions. Slaughter competing in the over 175 to 200 pound weight class, bench pressed 315 pounds, deadlifted 565 or 870 pound total. The 565 pound deadlift was the top lift of the day regardless of weight class. Echo Meyer in the over 125 to 150 pound class benched 130, deadlifted 365 for a 495 pound total. Her deadlift also earned Echo Meyer top honors in the individual deadlift competition. Other winners included the husband and wife tandem of David and Layla Kozakowski. They both earned the best bench award. David lifted 395 pounds, competing in the over 175 to 200 pound weight class. The 395 pounds bench press was also the top absolute weight figure for the day in all weight classes. Wife Layla lifted 165 pounds to lead the women's field. She was competing in the over 125 to 150 pound weight class. Dylan Nichols 525 pound deadlift earned top men's honors in that event. Nichols competed in the over 150 to 175 pound class. After the tournament, I asked Garcia, why a powerlifting tournament? We have, a, we have an outlet for, pretty, for all the different types of athletes here. We've got the gym for the gym rats, we've got the treadmills, the cardio equipment. We have a fantastic group fitness program. We have a wonderful run series. So you've got all these different types of, of support, I mean sports for the different types of athletes. But what we don't really do a lot of and don't have a lot of are strength events. So you have a lot of serious Lifter. So what this does is it gives them something to work towards when they're in the weight room. Elsewhere, a couple of reminders from the Fort Meade Transition Assistance Program. They're offering a seminar on accessing defense contracting careers on Tuesday, March 20th from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Transition Assistance Center, 8501 Simon Street. There's a technical job fair coming up Wednesday, March 21st from 9 to 2 at Club Meade. For a list of prospective employers and more information, go to me.armymwr.com and click on Job Fair. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.